Well, John Lovitz is one of the best name in comedy. Uh, his career spanning more than 40 years, almost 50 years, he just reminded me. And he's here with us this morning at the WRL Fountain Plaza because he'll be appearing this weekend. He opened last night at the Raleigh Improv. John, great to see you. So when I first asked you about, uh, is this your first time in the Triangle, you're like, what the heck is the Triangle? Yeah, I thought you were talking about an instrument in the orchestra. <laughs> but well, it, it's, I think it, this is the most beautiful uh, a TV station I've ever seen. Well, we get to come. I mean, to work it's a here park here. It's a, there's a garden. I mean, it's stunningly beautiful. You like to work here, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. I well, we drove by the, uh, North Carolina State, and I looked in. I go, hmm. Because <laughs> if I can't get any more work, I'll just retire and teach comedy there. I mean, it's just so beautiful. It's it's unbelievable. So you opened last night at the Raleigh Improv. How'd it go? Well, you know. Apparently, I'm funny. <laughs> yes, you are. Got a lot of laughs, and I have uh, one show tonight, one Saturday, and one Sunday, and I'm really looking forward to it. it when did you know, it, growing up, that, that you could make a living as a comedian? Well, you know, I never knew that, but I want, I've wanted to be funny since I'm five. I had a friend who was four, and he was making me laugh, and I named Mike, like, I want to be funny like him. So, uh, and then when I was 13, I saw Woody Allen's first movie, Take the Money and Run, and that's when I said, I want to be a comedian like Woody Allen. But I didn't really focus on it until I was 25 and went to this uh, theater group, group called The Groundlings, yeah. and uh, that's when I said, I'm just going to focus on comedy. Before that, I did plays in high school, and I was a drama major at UC Irvine and just did straight acting. But, uh, I, I mean, the, the, this is like a dream come true, you know. It, it, I mean, it is literally a dream come true. I never thought I'd be on Saturday Night Live. Never. Yeah, I gotta ask you about that because you spent what five years, right? On five to ninety. ninety. Uh, how did that experience shape your comedy? Well, I mean, it gave me a career for sure. I mean, I was, you know, I'd been working at at it for, you know, acting and comedy for thirteen years by then. Uh, since I was fifteen, and I was twenty-eight, and I had one job when I was twenty-five on a, a cable show called The Paper Chase. The second year, but Saturday Night Live, you learn to. Um, it, it really sharpened uh, your, uh, uh, say, short-term memory, and you learned, you were, you, it was great for movies because you had to go right away, so you couldn't just really think about it, you just had to go. So in movies, when they go, all right, we're doing another take, we're ready for you, you ready to go, you're ready to go. Yeah. And uh, they don't have patience for people that aren't ready to go because it's, it's time is money and you got to, that's your job. As soon as they go action, you, you got to be yeah, ready. It. And it's yeah. not easy do, but that show really helps you learn how to do that. So when you think of your, your stand-up routine, does it just come to you or you focus on experiences? What do you do? How do you, how do you come up with the John Lovett's magic? <laughs> 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 well, what I do, well, it's the more I'm me and I, I talk about uh, my opinions about uh, what's going on in the world. I'm, Jimmy Breslin, the great columnist, he hosted the show and a year later I ran into him he said, are you doing stand-up? And I said, well, I don't know. What if I say something that offends somebody? And he said, look, if I come to see your show, I want to hear what you have to say. I don't want you to, you to change your act because of who's in the audience. And it made me, I thought, okay. And it made me think, well, what do I have to say? And, and I was so focused on acting for years, I, didn't, I wasn't thinking about the rest of the world. But once I started working, I didn't have to have a second job. So then I had time to go, well, what's going on? So... I just say how I really feel about things, but in a funny way. And, and the more I'm me, the more people laugh. It's very strange. Well, you are one funny man. So, John Lovitz, that advice worked out very well for you. You can catch him all weekend at the Raleigh Improv. We'll be right back.